What's up guys, Nick here, and today we're gonna make a beat using the pattern editor, and we'll check out some of the stuff that we can do to make our loop a little more interesting, a little more random, and not so static. So let's go ahead and make a beat here. I usually like to make them around four bars long, so let's make this four bars long, and let's start with... 1-8 resolution, make this 32 steps, so it is uh, 4 bars long. So this is going to be pretty, pretty basic beat. Alright, let's turn on loop. Pretty simple, nothing crazy. Uh, down here, let's do like some kind of fill. And let's add a little bit of hats to the second half here. We'll make this kind of like our intro uh, drum. And then we'll copy this and add a variation. So that's a uh, hi hat. Alright, so. Automate some stuff here. Let's add some uh, movement to these hats. And let's uh, add a repeat here. So that's like the cool. Let's duplicate this. And let's keep going with our making our beat. So let's make a new variation here. Alright, new variation made. And let's uh, make another beat here. So we'll do the same thing, 32 and 1 8. What you can also do is you can change the resolution of specific lanes here. So you see the numbers here, we can actually change this to whatever we want and change this to whatever we want. So we have a lot of control over setting up our patterns here. But let's keep it uh, simple uh, for now. Let's, uh, do a simple kick snare beat. This will be our our fill here. Let's add a repeat to that one. And down here, let's add hi hats up right. And let's make these hi hats a little more interesting. So let's add an accent here, let's uh, automate these velocities so there's some movement. Alright, now let's add some, uh, let's add some more hits, let's add, uh, here, here. Let's add some more hits and add some repeats to make it a little more, uh, a little more fun. So let's see what that sounds like. Alright, cool. So, what we can also do is use the probability here, and we can change the probability of some of these notes. So, when the, each time it loops through, uh, it won't actually play the note every single time. So, that adds a little bit more of a randomness and kind of makes your loops a little more interesting. So let's do that with, uh, with these parts here. Let's do this to put it down to, let's try to get it to 50. That'll do. Do the same thing for, let's do that, that, and let's, uh, add this. Let's add a repeat here. Cool, and let's add a crash to the end. Yeah. And let's change the probability here to 50%. Cool. Let's maybe add some rim shots. Alright. Uh, where do we want these? Let's say like here. 
But let's change the probability of these, so... It'll be kind of random throughout the loop. And let's turn this off, and now let's stretch this out. So this will be going for a little bit. Let's see, like 16 bars, here we go. Yeah, go on for start with the intro. He's not playing that rim shot every time. So we just made a simple beat here pretty quickly and we added some variety, there's some randomness to it and that's really all it takes to make it a cool beat with the pattern editor here in Studio One and uh, that's, that's all you really need. Um, I definitely urge you to explore some of the features here that you have like um, changing the resolution of specific lanes. Uh, like can come in handy with a hi hat here. Like let's change this to 116, right? And 64. And uh, so let's see what happens when we play around with this. Oh, that's the probability. I want to adjust the velocity. Let's adjust the velocity. So it's a little got some movement. Got some accents. Right, and so now, well, let's change the probability on some of these two. Let's actually add some repeats. Alright, let's change the probability of some of these. Sweet. Alright, so now we just change the hi hat pattern. So, do you have a pretty great tool here to make uh, beats and drum patterns really quickly really easily and add some variation to it so that's it for this video nothing too crazy I just wanted to show you how easy it is to make patterns and beats using the pattern editor here in Studio One 4 so I hope you found this video useful and we'll see you guys next time alright take care